Hey everybody, this is Zero from Zero Gumpla Review. And first of all, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, if time of this recording, at least. It's in the early stages of January. And I want to like to thank all my fans out there who... All, all of you to, that have gotten me this far. I know there's not a hell of a lot, but hey. Every single journey starts with one step. And all the positive comments and all that has really gotten me through the year. So... We're going to start up the new year with a new set and a new Gundam I got for the holidays. The Bandai exclusive Crossbone Gundam X2 Kai. We're going to go talk about the positives, the negatives, and everything in between. So, we'll get, let's get it started on this review. We're back with the Crossbone Gundam X2 Kai. A Bandai Premium. So, with Bandai Premiums, it's kind of a hit and miss. Some of them are great, like... The Pale Rider, which is one of my top 10 favorite Gundams, specifically top 5. And then sometimes you get this stuff like this bad boy. For example, Loose Freaking Waste. Man, look at that thing fly. I built this like a couple of days ago and it's already, the waste is already starting to go on it. So for safety reasons, I recommend gluing it. But, you know, to each his own. Maybe you like it loose. I don't know what to tell you. Also... During the construction or setup of my new set, I lost the the shooting hand of the, the other shooting hand, so I cannot show it holding this thing. Which, if you know the name of this gun, please leave it in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it because it looks really cool, and I really wish I could have my gun. I'm holding it, but due to its weak weight, uh, weak waist, I really don't want to risk it, you know, falling over. Literally, just the top half falling over and be. The Tossless Gundam. So, now we're going to talk about the articulation. It has solid bends at the joints. The arms can go decently high for what it is. It can't, it's, it can't move its arm all the way back. Well, it can. It can go the 360, but you have to move several of the parts of the backpack for it, which also rotate if you don't mind the waist popping off while you do so. It, overall, solid build. Well, moderately solid. If you break it in half, it's solid. Uh, the weapons are cool, personally. Pirate themed, always awesome. And, aside from that, it's a solid build. But, again, be careful with that waist. Glue it. Uh, so, I got this for the holidays, so I can't tell you where they got it from. But, I saw this on Amazon. Be careful, scalpers. So if you go looking for it, find something that's within your price range. And just be careful of scalpers out there, everybody. Because people will jack up the price on something that should be cheaper. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And have a nice new year.